Jones layout, so it's not ideal conditions. It's barely 40 degrees, um, so they're not going to be flying a whole lot. But I'm wearing my gloves and my suit because they're probably not going to be happy about it either. So uh, this is uh, over in the Fox Valley at my father-in-law's house. So we just have, uh, I have this all set up here. Uh, this is just to protect. We have our five frames. The bees come in here. This is an easy nuke by uh, Jester. And so um, we'll just kind of open this up a little bit. Um, and we'll see what they're looking like. I don't probably need a whole lot of smoke, but we'll just keep them calm. And that looks great. So you see they're flying a little bit. This looks like a really good colony. Now, like I said, it's cool out. And so you want to work a little bit quick. When you're working with one of the Jester nuke boxes, the nice part about it, so you don't roll a queen or, or the bees, is you can kind of pull this out here and then separate this down. And then we'll just take them out one by one. Be real careful. So this looks really nice. Take a look for the queen. You see how calm the bees are. There's some drones. There's quite a bit of uh, nectar or sugar water. Um, just taking a look for the queen really quick. Not going to spend too much time on it. We're going to set this one in the same order that they're in here. You see how calm the bees are? I could probably not even have a bee suit on. Separate them out. Move nice and slow. Just looks like an amazing population. I see some uh, a lot of pollen. I see brood underneath there, which means I want to work kind of quick. I'm just glancing really fast for the queen. Again, capped brood. I want to get that into the hive really quick. But of course, like any beekeeper, I'd love to look at the bees. There's a little bit of drone brood on the bottom. So you see the capped over brood and you see the puffy stuff. Slide this in real gently. Move over. I'm going to use my hive tool. I'm just going to separate them out. Be careful not to squish too many. This looks like a great colony. Again, there's some more brood, some drone brood. Very healthy, no queen cells. Take a look for that queen. This looks just like an awesome colony. Great population. Take here, see that one there, kind of jumped out at me. I came in kind of quick. Again, the bees are pretty docile because of how cold it is. See there, they, that one kind of jumped out again. Didn't sting me, but it's kind of letting me know. It doesn't really like that. More brood. Really nice. Just trying to see if I see any fresh larvae. This hive is going to explode in a hurry. I don't see the queen. Take this, set it in gently, slide it together, and we'll take a look at our last one here. Again, another frame. This is great. Good food here. More food. Some drones already on here. Really good. What's that? So Frank, can you take that frame out of there? I should have done that from the start. Give us some working. So then what I'm gonna do, these ones here, just want to make sure because they're kind of clustered here. You don't see the queen in that batch. These are real nice small bees. I'm going to take my hive tool, kind of pull them together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this one over. Then that way when I slide this back in, I don't roll the bees. So again, I'll take this, kind of squish them together. And the reason you squish it together is you don't want them to do what's called bridge comb and it just kind of makes your hive all a little bit wonky. So now you see some bees in here. Look at that. 
Hardly any dead bees. That's a great nuke. That's some Travis Linskins. I'm just gonna take and pop, top, tap this. So now what I have here that I prepped right away, I have a pollen patty. You can see where they were already given a pollen patty. I'm gonna clean up these frames a little bit here. The wax paper that's on there, no big deal. They just chew through that, get rid of it. See there's some bees on me. That's pretty typical of a cold day. But they also like to crawl up your legs, so you'll know it if they get into you. So I'm gonna just again take care of some of this burr comb. We'll put that here, get rid of some of this here. Nice and neat. We'll take our, get rid of some of these guys. Again, they're not stinging me. They're just, they're insects. It's cold out, so there's not a lot of. Didn't even really need smoke at all. I'm gonna put the entrance down just for ventilation, especially this time of year. Uh, it's cold at night, but I wanna make sure that one, they can actually use an upper entrance. And if there's any pests or whatever, they can protect it. So we're going to put the top cover on, take the food. I mix this up with sugar water. There's honey bee healthy. And then the vitamin, or the, uh, the brood booster in there. So we'll create the suction on there. We'll put this over the top. We'll take our protection box put this on put this on here that's as quick and fast as a install can go again it's cold out I didn't want to uh, I didn't really want to spend too much time in there I probably spent a fair amount of time some of you may have been cringing a little bit um, but overall pretty quick have the entrance reducer on the front I have the bigger one on there when we set up the hive we made sure that there was a slight tilt so that any water would run out. You see that there's a little bit of pooling on the end. That's what I like, it's not inside the hive. So now we'll come back in a week or two, check the feed and just kind of let them be.